Hi everyone and welcome to the energy update from June 17th till 23rd, 2024. My name is Heike Bartels and I'm now about to share with you what my guides told me for this week. The first topic I got from them is personal commitment. And we know we have two very powerful energetic events. The summer solstice in the northern hemisphere is just, well, most powerful point of the year. And then there's also a full moon taking place shortly afterwards. So these two energies are mixing. It is all about reflection, transformation and celebration. It's a time of love and abundance and all this goes into the energy of creation, of doing something new and also of harvesting. So maybe you can now look at a great achievement, a milestone in your career or something that you really can celebrate when you see that everything's going into the right direction of your long-term goals. It's also a time of reflection, so maybe you want to reassess your goals or make some adjustments so you can achieve them. And then, of course, this is the new or the thing with this energy, go for it, do it. Establish new routines in your life, in your daily life or new, a new structure. Take the necessary step, be patient, be perseverant have the integrity necessary, the discipline of to, to put in the hard work. It's all about that. So it's really about committing to your goals to see, okay, what is necessary and then go do it. Yeah, so it's very powerful. You may feel now that you, you are responsible, that it's really your life and it's your way of what you want of you, how you want to live it, and that you are responsible, that you are the person who needs to do it and who needs to, to commit. And also, therefore, you are very productive. So, yes, it may be a month of quite a lot of work, hard work. We've got a Capricorn full moon and, of course, Saturn. <laughs> is the ruler and next week I think it's going to start its retrograde journey so we can look back on what we've achieved also that's one of the themes that go with that but that's also already in the energy so it's really about looking at the past and see if, it, if everything goes into the right direction yeah, so you may be quite content with yourself, but also at the same time knowing, okay, um, this is not the moment where I start sitting on the sofa, it's the moment where I have to continue. Because we all know May was the month where we needed to rest, and also April, because everything was so challenging and we really needed to process these energies and to renew and recharge our batteries. And now, as we were told before this will help you later on in spring towards summer so this is what we see now so maybe you can already harvest something you can already see what you've achieved and celebrate <laughs> okay so the second topic i got was deepen relationships and it said that with this energy we may see a turning point in our relationships. So maybe you also commit to a relationship now, you bond on a deeper level, you find that this relationship is more meaningful and therefore you commit or it's more meaningful because you started committing more, it can go one way or the other. Also, it's a time where communication is key and expressing your emotions. And of course, if you do that, yeah, this is, so of course, this is what's necessary to build a strong foundation and to have a strong relationship. Also, you may notice that 
you can now work on challenges and misunderstandings that my might have occurred over the past or over the past couple of weeks and that yes by doing so you also notice a deeper bond and also we know that sometimes when we feel misunderstood and and we get really upset and then we really start communicating that we were wrong yeah we made an assumption which was not well, which is just has just been far from reality or which is far from reality. It's just the other person was not aware of it. Because if we don't talk, the other person may think everything's fine. <laughs> so we need to do that and we need to keep doing that. Maybe you also start implementing a new conversation routine, for example or a new habit kind of or structure in your way of communicating so that you make sure or trying to assure that those misunderstandings don't occur that easily anymore yeah so you may have some insight or some realization where you need to change in a way yeah or make some changes and also, with all these transformation and growth that we also have um, in the energy, every single, every single one of us grows and transforms and we need to take the loved ones with us. It was already something that the guides uh, reminded us of quite a while ago and communication is key. <laughs> So just make sure that you stick to that so you can grow together and understand what the other person is going through. Because if you don't, um, and that's the other way it could go actually, if you now notice that even expressing your emotions and, and all your communication efforts are not helpful, that you notice, okay, maybe it's time to part ways. Yeah, and the message from the masters was that they said, Remember around the solstice, the earth grid is in greater harmony. So you can heal with the planet's help on all levels. So if there is anything that you would like to heal or to let go of, now is the time. Yeah, it's like a week before and a week after the solstice that you can spend some time in nature, Maybe you want to talk to the source, the universe, God, however you need this, you um, address this higher power and then also talk to the planet about, you know, what, what it's that is in your heart and yeah, just ask for the healing or if you want to ask for a sign or something like that. Make sure you ask for something or and thank for something that it's already done. Um, and if you want to have a reassurance, you can ask for a sign and for something that you understand and that's repeated like three times so you can be sure. Okay, I hope that was helpful. That was the week uh, of the solstice. And of course, if it helps you, please subscribe to the channel and also to Instagram at Heike Dance and to Feel Good Workout because the guides are doing lots and lots of work on social media and YouTube to help us all. And it would be great if more people could benefit from that. Lots and lots of love and I see you next week.